happy Friday. So this week I've been talking about how we can build, rebuild, reshape our culture in the world of remote work. And it's getting rid of, rid, rid of the illusion that unless everyone gets back into the office, the culture will be destroyed. Well, I'm telling you, if that's what you think, your culture was never a good one in the first place. You probably didn't even have one. And I'm referencing a Gartner report called um, Evolve the Culture and Leadership, and I'm referencing in this week's newsletter. And the thing that uh, Gartner talk about is about, what were the, let me just find their words. Optimize micro-based experiences. And what they mean by that is that Organisations are often focused on, you know, the culture, the macro culture, the culture of the entire organisation, and then trying to impose that top down, which, you know, I know that's not going to work. And even in small organisations, we have micro cultures. You know, each team could have its own micro culture, its shared set of values beliefs, expectations of each other. And rather than impose a macro culture, we should minimize, minimalize that culture and allow it to just support all of the micro cultures that develop underneath it to make sure they're aligned. And, you know, think about IT, which was, you know, my background many years ago. You've got operations, you've got development, you've got projects, you've got waterfall, you've got agile, you've got lean, you keep to keep on going and they're all micro cultures which should just be guided by the overarching culture. And Royal DSM is a Dutch health and nutrition company and they treat their culture as a flotilla of independently piloted ships rather than a single tanker. But there is an overall culture that makes sure that every boat in that flotilla is going in the same direction. So allow micro cultures to develop, but guide them accordingly. I will talk to you next week.